Hi everybody, welcome again to Lap Lurchers. Today I'm going to talk to you about why choose a lurcher as a family pet. Um, this is my dog Floki. Floki, come here! Come here! <laughs> um, she is a two-year-old rough-coated lurcher. Um, she's my second lurcher. My first lurcher was a dog called Grolly Dog and we had her for 13 years until she had to be put to sleep. Uh, the reason I chose lurchers was actually purely by mistake. Me and my husband at the time went to the Bath Cats and Dogs home and we looked around and fell in love with this dog that was beautiful and calm and lovely and we walked it around and you know did the volunteer walking thing and it already had a reserve on it. Um, we didn't we didn't get the dog, uh, it went to the first reserve. Then we searched everywhere for a pedigree dog. We looked at lots of different breeds, we went to lots of different houses for months and months. All we did at the weekend was go and look at puppies. Um, then I started looking for a greyhound cross. In those days you didn't have things like Gumtree or Pets at Home. You had, you had a newspaper and you looked at the adverts at the back and I found a greyhound cross lurcher and um, read the description and we drove to see this dog and my husband at the time said look if we don't get this dog I'm not going to drive you to see any more litters of puppies and we turned up and they had this ugly scrawny looking weird dog that was grey and oh, I didn't like it at all they said look if you don't get this dog you're not getting a dog and we took this dog home and she turned into the most beautiful and loyal and friendly, wonderful dog you could ever imagine. It wasn't the dog I would pick, but if I had my time over again, oh, she was the most incredible dog. I couldn't have asked for more. I couldn't describe a better dog than Grolly Dog. Um, obviously, when, when she had to be put to sleep at 13, went to look for a new dog and I had to be a lurcher. Um, I went for a rough coated lurcher again because I like grooming them, she's not, my other dog had much longer hair, Floki's got shorter hair so it's not quite like brushing my last dog but I like the rough coated lurcher. You can get lurchers with um, rough coats, short coats, you know there's lots of different varieties. So why pick a lurcher? Floki, come here, come here. Firstly they're really friendly, um, lurchers you can kind of pick and mix what you get with a lurcher. If you know a bit about their breeding and what's going to them, a lurcher is a working dog crossed with a sight hound. So you can kind of plan if you're going to have a more intelligent dog, you can look for a more laid back dog with the right kind of breeding and parentage. With a rescue dog you don't know quite so much what you're getting, but you can, still, you can have a look and get a rough idea and you can meet them as an adult dog, so that element of surprise is taken out of it that way. Um, I picked her because she's very active. I wanted a dog that could do walks with me, that could do agility with me, that would come out with me with the family and could go a whole day without being knackered and also a dog that is quite happy to lounge around and will have a walk and then sort of chill out for the rest of the day and not be too hyper. Now for the first year, year and a half, she was very, very hyper, she was very hyperactive, there was no real no real settling down with her. She was always happy and always delightful. We had a few issues with, you know, she'd chew things, but nothing you would expect from any other puppy. So I picked her because of the intelligence of her. I picked her because of the look of her, the size of her. I picked her because of how she, how she is with other, you know, family members. It's important to me to have a dog that gets on well with old people, young people, noisy people, slow people. And I picked a dog that would be fun and fun to have around. So she's she's funny, I mean she does silly things, she's playful, she's very, very active, she loves to play fetch, she loves to play tug, she loves to go through tunnels, she loves to jump, she loves to go out and about and she loves to And also the other good thing about a lurcher is it doesn't need to be out and about all day, although you've got the option that you can take your dog about with you all the time and you can do lots of high energy things with your dog, they're equally as happy to just have a little you know, 20 minute walk in the afternoon, and then a larger walk in the evening, and then just veg out for the rest of the day. They're so happy to just curl up in quite often weird positions all over the house, under your feet half of the time, but they're quite happy to just snuggle up and rest. They're not crazy, chaotic dogs that are demanding all the time. They're just very, very happy 
to fit in with your lifestyle, to fit in with your family setup. Lurches and greyhounds, they're very, very calm and very, very gentle. Lots of lurches and greyhounds have gone on to make therapy dogs. They can be used to bring in to, for schools, for education programs. They're very calm and relaxed with people. They have almost a sense to know who to approach and in what way they approach them. They can pick up very well on people and on emotions. And so if you've got someone who's older or frail, they can very much pick up on that and respond in an appropriate way. And again, if you've got a young family that are very boisterous, your lurch is perfect, it will pick up on that energy too and can be very, very playful. Lurches, you've got the real blessing of having a variation in sizes. You can get um, the whippet crosses, which are very small, and you can get you know quite large lurches, which have got the greyhound, deerhound cross, and so you can really get the perfect dog for you and your lifestyle. Like I said, I really like the rough coat because I like to groom my dog. Again, if you didn't want the rough coat dogs, there are very smooth, silky lurches. And again, very in sizes, so you can get something exactly right for your family, for your home, for your lifestyle. They really are the very most wonderful, perfect breed. Also, you can go and rescue a lurcher. They've got dedicated rescue centres up and down the country that just focus solely on lurchers and greyhound rescue. Um, there you've got all the dogs that go in are tested with cats, dogs, people, you know exactly what you're getting, you haven't got to go through the puppy stages, you've got a lovely adult dog. Um, if they need any training advice or behavioural support, you've got all of that described on the website, even if you go onto the website, have a look at the different dogs available, quite often it will say cat trainable, can't be home with cats, can be home with a male dog, all of that kind of information is just laid out in front of you and you know exactly what you're gonna what you're gonna take home with you. Also with the lecture you've got a lot of love and you've got a lot of affection and you've got a lot of joy and playfulness and just a really good all-round family pet that will give you years and years of love and attention and joy. So I couldn't recommend Lurchers highly enough. What I've done for this video is on the Facebook group, the Lurcher Appreciation Society, is I posted a comment and said, can you send me your pictures and send me your comments for the reason why you have picked a Lurcher? So I'm going to attach at the end of this video, I mean, I've got hundreds and hundreds of pictures can't put them all on I'm afraid because there were so many gorgeous pictures of lurches. I'm going to attach a load at the end of this video and I'm going to read out some comments as to why other people have chosen lurches. So I'm going to grab my phone and read out your comments now. Um, Rach says because they have expressive faces. Family pets, there are so many pictures of people who've posted pictures with their lurches and their children. They make such wonderful, lovely, gentle, playful family pets. Using the sofa as a hammock, very clever. I mean, with, with lurches you've got a huge range. You've got some really intelligent lurches. Some not so intelligent that I've got not quite as an intelligent lurcher, but there are some really very clever lurches out there. Majestic is their middle name. You can get rid of your telly, you won't be able to see it anyway. Sleeping positions, playfulness in the garden. A lot of people have also mentioned, you know, the health benefits, not for the people, I mean, of having a crossbred dog. You, they're very low maintenance in terms of, you know, diseases and things that they're likely to pick up. With being a cross dog, very, very healthy. The vet bills are a lot lower. They don't have anything they're particularly prone to and they have a nice, healthy, long life. There are a lot of pictures of lurches snuggled up on the sofa. The zoomies, I love the zoomies. I haven't done a video about the zoomies yet, but I will do a video purely on the zoomies. If you haven't seen a lurcher going for the zoomies, you've missed out. Because of the play, I love the lust for life and that he will follow me anywhere. Smiling for the camera, because I love them. That comment has come up over and over again simply because I love them. Because they will sleep anywhere. Because they are the perfect companion and their ears are so funny. I chose a lurcher as they are absolutely amazing dogs. They can be very playful and energetic but they know when to lay down and be gentle. They are very sneaky and know when how to steal food from very high to worktops. They are intelligent and brilliant laughs. They can be so clumsy and so silly but they are the most amazing family dogs. That's from Bethany. Why lurchers? Because they can be fun, cuddly, and when you feel like crying, they'll eat a whole bag of ice cubes just to see you smile. Because they're magic. That's from Gemma. Why lurchers? Because out of all of the dogs I've met in my time, I've never come across one so willing to cuddle and sit like a clingy child. 
because we love the adventures, says Jordan. Why lurches? Because who else is going to have such majestic sleeping position? Because they cuddle so much. That is getting so many mentions because they cuddle. They're very, very affectionate. They're very loving. Because they're the best friend you could ask for. Another very common theme is a lot of people saying that I'd love to say that we chose the lurcher, but actually they chose me. The lurcher chose me. A lot of people have gone to a rehoming centre with the idea of getting a different breed and have come home with a gorgeous lurcher because they're such good posers, because they love muddy puddles, because they're so loyal, loving and comical. That's from Julie. These lurchers because they are funny, affectionate, mischievous, inquisitive and they love life. From Hayley. Because they are the perfect travelling companion. So thank you everyone for your videos and your comments. I'm so sorry I can't put them all in, but I'm going to do a big compilation at the end of this video. Um, keep your eyes peeled, subscribe if you want to see other videos from Lap Lurchers, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.